He's a nicer guy. He's a little happier seeming. He seems from down. So tired, is but. is he uh is he good with that or is he like no way, bruh? You know, get turned into a fifteen foot yeah, tall. Yeah, he's babe. like. I mean, if you wanna, you know, cut down some trees and bring them to us. I can have my men uh, fashion them into playing some of this wood. I, I, I couldn't stuff, help yeah. but notice that you've been uh, knee deep in muck. I think this would help you out. Yes. Um, Plinkett, you probably realize that like they need like the reason they're always knee deep in muck is because there is no drainage out of this. <laughs> the palisades yeah. just like block all the water, so like. The only the only way water escapes is by evaporating. <laughs> yeah. So. so if we could like if you can make like some sort of if we could hollow out a wo some wood and like get it like I don't know put it like yeah yeah I'm not sure exactly how to address that drainage inside of like a static platform. I guess you'd have to make platforms, wouldn't you, or would you just have to like set a bunch of logs as the base? I mean, I think I think the idea would be like you cut holes. Or you dig holes, like... Um, that was the drainage I mean, trenches, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you'd have to... You'd basically just have to run some, like, drainage trenches, and then... Yeah. Dig holes underneath the palisades a little bit. Oh, by the way, uh... At some point, Plink is gonna, like, set across... All the stuff in the bag of holding is gonna be dumped out into, like, a safe place. And then he's going to infuse a jug. And the camp is gonna have, like, four gallons of wine and a gallon of... One gallon of wine and four gallons of beer each day. Okay. Mm. Yeah, that he's just gonna like put inside of a barrel. Maybe he waters it down a bit so it's just like everyone's not just drunk off their some ass. More some more people can enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, more. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Right. Plinkett, how many times a day can you enlarge me? Oh. Uh, I have seven spell slots. So I should be able to use those. We'll probably have to use a few and save a few. I mean, it's only for, one uh, minute. So. It's only one minute? Yeah. Oh. So that's what I'm saying. So is we're going to have to cut cool. down all the trees. Just Dr. Plinkett knows that. So we're going to have to, like, chop the trees down, then enlarge me, and we're going to have to, like, you know, make good time, good use of this spell. Hmm. Right? So should we use, should we use the... So would it be better to use that enlarge to like chop down the trees to just like tear them down and then have us carry them? Have the men carry them? Or Perhaps. Which one do you think would be better? I'm not sure which is the, lar which is the larger issue. Cutting them down? Well, we need to find them? out about that. Do they have inefficient means of chopping trees? Do they have like axes and shit? Uh, uh yeah, they, they have axes and saws. So. Uh, so I guess we inquire with Redbeard. What is the... What's the bigger problem? Chopping the trees down or bringing them over here to uh, make use of? Mm. Since uh, we don't really have the men to... Um, to carry... The logs, we could, um... So they don't have carts It only anything. takes two men or so to, to knock knock a tree down, but, uh... You know, it takes... It takes a good number of men to... Get a... Get a log moving. Right. Um, you know, even putting it onto something and then dragging it. So if we could have a handful of your men chopping trees, I could make mm -hmm. good time and escort the wood back to the fort. Hmm. If you think yeah, that would be um, more efficient. That that would be that would be helpful. Alright. So that's gonna be the plan then. I guess mm -hmm. we'll help chop down trees with the boys for a couple hours. Yeah. And then um when the time comes, I'll go Bear Force One or whatever. Yeah. And uh he'll enlarge me and Bear then I'll Force Yeah. Yeah. Let Bring these large the trees over to the fort. Let me see how long levitate lasts for, because that might be a better way of doing this. Levitate a tree. Yeah, as long as it's not 500 pounds. Uh, you'd have to cut them off then. 
Yeah, full tree is way more than 500 pounds. Yeah, it'll never take last for like 10 minutes. But, uh, so I guess this probably would be the better option. Mm -hmm. um, so okay. we, we do that today. Uh, mm -hmm. And then Dr. Plinkett and I are also going to be... I, I don't know how many spell slots you have dedicated to this, but I'm going to once again try and clean cleanse the disease from people. I'll do five mm -hmm. of those with second and third level spell slots. Okay. If they need five. Yeah. Uh, I might have to save two of the spell slots, so cutting down the enlarge to five minutes. Unless, if I use all my spell slots, can I still do ritual casting? So does that use that up? Yes, you can. Okay, I can still use... Okay, so we'll have ten minutes. It's five, seven minutes of the enlarge. Mm -hmm. Now I'll still have my spell... Uh, I'll still be able to ritual cast, uh, purify food and drink, but I'll have to save a spell slot for... Lesser restoration, if you want to do that. Sure. Do they need six uh, disease cleansing today? Uh, no. They, well, six, you said. They have six today. They need six people cleansed? Yes, they have six people in there. Okay, so yeah. Dr. Plinkett and I, I'll do five, he does one. So we cleanse six okay. people okay. of their diseases today. Okay. Um, yeah, and that gets everybody out of there today so you did notice that um because you, you left three in there last night yeah and three more had come in the next day so um or you know over the night so we're trying but, to help the other clerics because it seems like they're exhausted so they yeah. get to kind of yeah so you can give them a rest day which is nice yeah Much and they can get last thing of the day that we're probably going to do is Plunkett's going to cast with his hat of wizardry as many times as possible to try to make some trenches with mold earth. Hell yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, it's not like it has to be a 5x5, five five, right? It can be... No. Like, that's as big as it can be. Let me double check. And he can do it every six seconds. Right. I was about to five yeah. blades. It doesn't have enough force to cause damage. You cause shape, color, or both the pure trips down. I say to Ord Firebeard, you know, with some of this wood, if you were so inclined, you could uh, sharpen some stakes. My friend here is capable of moving a tremendous amount of earth very quickly. Um, yeah, I mean, you notice that, like, the, the, I mean, they have a trench around the outside, and there's some really large stakes. Oh, they already have there. this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, can you guys see the outside of the... No. no. Okay. So, if yeah. you... There's well, a lighting yeah, layer if, around if, the base. Yeah. Okay, okay. I wasn't sure. Um, so, um, so but like, yeah, around the outside, there, there's a 20-foot deep trench, like, oh. from the... From, like, from the base of the walls. It's, like, 10 feet down to the you know, ground level, but it's another 10 feet down from there to the base of these trenches. And then they're, like, from the 20-foot walls on the side of the hill, there's, like, large spikes sticking out. Then now, we don't the, have the that conversation. Like, I would have noticed The spikes that. are, like, too large for, like, um, any undead or anything. Like, the undead could probably, you know, get between them and try to climb. Mm. But, like, any large beasts would definitely get impaled on them. Okay. Instead, then, I guess okay. we spend the rest of the day uh, chopping this wood into... Okay. Yeah. Platforms for walking, I suppose. Yeah. I'm All probably right. exhausted by the end of yeah, the day. This is, this is a lot of work for you guys. Most of you guys have not done physical labor like this. Yeah, but we've been traveling for a hundred days yeah. in a shitty forest, so we're in pretty good shape. Yeah, yeah. For the most part, Plank has been kind of like maximizing the amount of work that you could do with the least amount of effort. So you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, you're able to get uh, um, some work in on uh, making 
planks and stuff like that. So you're not really able to get any useful planks right. like it's a good in start. one day of work, but yeah. Yeah. Um you did a lot of the heavy lifting and stuff for them though. Literally, is, my dude. Yeah, yeah, literally. Uh yeah. you also do some mold earth and kind of make a drainage system um perhaps around the latrines and maybe around the um livestock pen as well. Um as you notice it, the four remaining goats are all pretty sickly and living in their own excrement. Yeah, you push pretty hard. Definitely prioritize so. clearing out the shit. Yeah. So you do some of that work for them, you know, so somebody else doesn't have to. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, hopefully help make their facilities uh, a little drier in the future. So. Right. Um, and then Dr. Blanket yeah. also was. Uh, you were cleansing some water or something, did you say? Yeah, so like if there's any water that needs to be cleansed, then I'll try to do that as well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, they've always got barrels of uh, stagnant rainwater that can be cleansed. Yeah. So. so it's like the end of the day, he's doing that, and he's just exhausted. We're all tired. Yeah. Yeah. Cooking some more meat over the fire. Yeah. And it, I mean, as you're like, yeah, as you're winding down and sitting around the fire, you kind of kind of realize why, like, all these people are so tired and exhausted so because um, you never know when uh, in the middle of the night they might have to get up and attack or fight fight off an attack too so uh, it kind of becomes clear yeah and if there's standing water then he'll like as much as possible we'll try to like evaporate it with press and digitation mm -hmm. Hell yeah, dude. Which you can do, like, unlimited amount, thankfully. Yeah. So that's the one cantrip that he remembered. I don't think it would, okay. um... Like, I don't think... I don't think the amount of area you could do with prestidigitation would be very, like, useful at, like, one... Like, per one cast. It'd be like, you know, you'd, like, cast it and be like, Oh, yeah, okay, it's kind of drying up a little bit, maybe. But, like, you'd have to cast it multiple times on an area to see... Full-time job? Um, <laughs> press yeah. yeah. Press like, <laughs> like, you, you, you press it. Or, like, yeah. big puddle thing. Yeah. And you'd be like, oh, yeah, it's uh, it's mostly dry now. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. The, the progress would be very slow on people. And, that's, and besides the trenching, that's probably what he prioritizes doing, because he doesn't want to chop down trees all day. Yeah. Yeah. So. I mean, we also have destroy water if we really need to, like, get rid of a fuck ton of water somewhere, but... Okay, so if, water. if you bring out destroy water, that's probably what he's gonna direct you to do. Just, like, no, it just turns super hard, like... I have it memmed. I've dirt. had it memmed. Mm -hmm. Is it a ritual, too? Uh... Because if not, then that's probably not day one thing. Yeah, no, no, no. It's it's uh, <laughs> it's not a ritual for me. I've been using my spell slots in more usable ways. Yeah. So same with blanket. So it's, he's going to be doing it the long way. And like once we've actually like done the heavy lifting, a few days later, later we might try to dry up everything mm -hmm. that's uh, not taken care of by the trenching. Um. Yeah, so we are guardian angels here, I guess, for the next couple of days. Mm -hmm. If people get sick, we use our a couple of spell slots to heal them up. And... Yeah, you get like another, uh, you know, another. F uh, well, how many days are you guys gonna stick around? I guess like one more, um, one more whole day, and then leave the next day. I mean, yeah, that's be like five, right? Oh, okay. You are staying a week. If it's if we get to like day four and it seems like they're doing considerably better then we mm -hmm. might start thinking about moving on by day five. But if it yeah. still seems like we're every day, like, super busy, like, swamped, using all mm -hmm. our spell slots, you know, healing people, whatever, I think we're going to put in work for five straight days to see where we're at. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, so, I mean, um, I guess we'll just kind of montage it for a bit here, but... Um, so, today, yeah, was was pretty good. Um, the next day, you're able to get some work done, and then it rains really heavily. Um, at night, and you wake up the next morning, 
So this is day three here. Like, or that was night three, rather, so this is going into day four. Um, you wake up and, and, like, the place is, like, soaking wet again. Like, you did yeah. a lot of drying up the last couple of days. And, uh, shit's getting pretty wet again. You, you see your joints working. Um... It's still but considerably it's just, better, though, because we got new walkways being built, and... Yeah, yeah. It's still drier than it was. Yeah, it, it's still better than it was. Like, the water's running off better. You know, it's not... But it's still real wet, you know? Right. Um... Any new uh, sick people coming in? Uh, yeah, there's, like, two people... Um, that come down with various illnesses if you want to cleanse them yeah absolutely we're trying to keep up on, on top of that yeah. So. yeah i got plenty of spell and slots you're just gonna you're just gonna totally like give the priests and acolytes uh, a little bit of a break i mean that's the plan i'm sure that they okay. have other uses for their spell slots beside healing people so if they want sure, they yeah. can they can use their abilities in other ways yeah okay but yeah, I'm uh, assuming these people are just super tired, so if they can have a couple days off, that's that's also great. Yeah. Alright. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, you're able, you, you know, you clean up this stuff again, you heal a couple of people. Mm -hmm. Nothing too crazy, so. I mean, if it, yeah, and if it seems like I'm not using all of my spell slots, then what I'll do with the rest of them is obviously good berries and stuff for mm -hmm. everybody. Yeah, I mean, you're you're not using all of your spell slots uh, once, you know, now that you're caught up. It's good berries and really water using. and, yeah, mm -hmm. create water, that kind of stuff. And even over just a couple of days, you kind of notice that, um... Uh... You have, like, you know, less and less people getting sick every day too, you know, right. like, you know, when he first came in, there's like eight sick people, and, I mean, they got good food and night. water, good yeah. berries are super solid, excellent yeah. nutrition, and I can make, I mean, it's ten per spell level, so, mm -hmm. I only need to do it like five times a day to get, pretty much hit the whole camp, yeah, mostly anyway. If it, you know, if it seems like I have those spell slots, that's what I'm doing, pretty much. Oh. So, uh, I don't know. Let me know if we're attacked in the night by zombies or something, but otherwise, that's what we're doing. Yeah, so, I mean, we'll, uh, we'll jump to that, uh... <laughs> we'll jump to that inevitability? Uh, Alright. Yeah. <laughs> Triceratops? Uh... Undead T-Rex? Alright, we leave? I'm, I'm worried. <laughs> uh, we'll look for us, and we're just <laughs> teleported like that. Good luck with that. We're out. Yep, yep. I got some more to beat. It's a shame. I, 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 I'm, I am legitimately wondering where the undead T-Rex is because I know that's a thing. I've seen it before. Like, I don't remember. I think I saw it in my copy of Tomb once. But I'm, yeah. I know it's a thing and it scares me very deeply. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, that's... Uh... I don't know I mean, it's a character. Like, yeah, I'm no, just like, you where do is because, it? Because <laughs> uh, Kawasha mentioned that they're definitely a thing. Yeah. And then you guys are like, oh my god. Yeah, and we saw a T Rex getting swarmed by undead. I mean, it's still one, but yeah. still. Oh god, was but that the T Rex, Logan? Like, you know. Was that the one that get becomes undead? <laughs> uh, maybe. Maybe. He was maybe. destroying them, though. He's probably fine. Oh, absolutely decimating him. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was a joke, dude. Um, but if it ate one hole and the zombie, like, infected ooh. him before he could die of, like, acid damage. Or if it was alive, just, like, ripping his stomach open. <laughs> alive being the undead version of alive. Yeah. Living dead. Un, un, unliving. Living yeah. alive. Living dead. Living a lie, yeah. Yeah, li <laughs> yeah. living like lie. Uh. So, um, yeah, so that was the fourth day here. Um, the night you guys are 
woken up by the sound of a horn. The night of yes. the... Uh, so this is your fourth night, right? No, your fifth night here. So going into your yeah. sixth day. Oh, okay. So probably yeah. the day you would leave, or the day before mm -hmm. you would leave. The day we assess. Yeah. yeah. So, um... Uh, yeah, middle of the night, like, everyone's gone to bed at this point. You all have actually eaten some food. Uh, but, uh, yeah, a horn, you hear a horn sound, and a bunch of people, um, kind of jump up and, you know, grab, grab weapons and stuff, so. Okay, so we wake uh, up. Um, mm -hmm. have we had... Sorry, I'm still kind of working on that's fine. I'm I'm just asking, have we had in a long rest, have we had eight hours of no spell casting before this happens? Uh see. Most of my spell casting is done. Not, I don't think. Most of my spell casting is done in the early to midday. I you know, knock that shit okay. out, like get the healing done, all that kind of yeah. stuff. And then at night... I'm thinking, I'm thinking if, if you're done spellcasting by 6 p.m. Right. Uh, I mean, that's up to yeah. you, but... Because I, I don't know when this is happening. If this was, like, right before dawn, yeah. absolutely. But... No, I mean, this is, like... I was saying, like, 2.30 or so. Okay. Well, I mean, we're, we're, we're TLDRing, so you gotta make a call on that. And if not, um, then you, we need uh, to know how many spells we have left and that sort of thing. Uh, I, yeah, I'll, we'll, we'll call it a long rest. Okay. For sake of brevity. Because I know we're kind of running short on time, too, so. Mm-hmm. Hard to select Okay, so... I was actually prepared to do um, big combat. Um, I'm gonna move these guys, token layer. So, people get up out of bed and go charging out. Alright, two, let's go, so I'm gonna call this a day. Um, oh man. Right. So, yeah, um, there are a good number of undead outside of the front gates here, um, being the only place anything can really get up and access the goods that are inside, that, that is where they come. So, um, they have a good contingent of people uh, running up the front gates with weapons in hand. Um, and, uh, yeah. Um, the gates are closed. This is yeah. the first time. Yes, yes. Are they expected they are. them to be but, bashed you know, down. Zombies are like, rrr, rrr, <sighs> like you know. So, um, so guards and stuff get up on the watchtower up above, um, and you know start firing down with with arrows and stuff. Um, um, yeah, a good number of people stand ready the front gates and they're gonna um, they're not too concerned about um, them like breaking down anything so they're actually gonna charge out there though and um, cause they don't, they don't have well, maybe not I, don't know. I wasn't ready for this at all um, okay well how many they, they don't have like a lot of space up top so how many undead are, are there you only have two arrows. Um, oh, did you? Oh, yeah, you got rid of the one thing. You did away with mm -hmm. the thing. Uh oh. I'm sure um, they have arrows here. Yeah, yeah, they they have arrows. They'll they'll give you arrows if you want to go up there and use ranged abilities. That's definitely something he talked about in the five days we've been here. So, yeah. yeah. Do you have any uh, arrows I can use? Arrows, please. So if if you guys want to, um, they will. They will welcome you to um, go up on the watchtowers or on the um, um, gatehouse and 
um, use range abilities to shoot down. Uh, well, these undead. we do go up there to at least see what we're up against. So, what's yeah. the horde look yeah. like? Um, so there are a couple dozen. Yeah, how the fuck? Uh, I guess I just mo uh, I guess I have fog of war on, right? So. No. Yeah, we can see it. Oh, you can. It's just yeah, we just have to cross we have to move our, first. Yeah, move our tokens. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, you can. Um, I mean, what you see is pretty much what there is. So. Um, okay, what are the purple tokens? Terror. Are they just a different form of undead? Uh, so you've got like zombies and ghouls essentially. Oh so God! Are up they actually back. ghouls, Logan? Or did you just I use the know, wrong word? Jiggles? Yeah, I don't know. Do they have really long, sharp claws? Uh, yeah, if you take a good look <laughs> at them, they're, um... You bastard. <laughs> I don't want to get petrified, dude. It's okay, just stay down here. I think it's gonna cast, a uh, great bonfire in this area right here. Uh... Yeah, so... Um... Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna decide not to open the gates, but um, they're gonna watch. You know, they're gonna hold the gates if they have to. So, uh, but yeah, you guys can feel free to go up there, and basically they're just gonna take pot shots at them. They're not gonna. Um, I don't yeah. think I'm actually gonna run this as an encounter because um, they're they're not really able to get up, and they're not really able to get through the gate. So this is fun for Dorjo. You just. Popping people. Yeah. <laughs> it's free XP. Yeah. It's free XP. Ah! I think yeah. this is that Shoot moment him. where I realize I'm probably, unless I go up out there, I'm going to be less useful mm -hmm. than Dordry, so I give yeah. him my flaming arrows. Okay. Uh, third level spell. There you go. So, they're all taking extra 1d6 nice. fire damage. Nice. So yeah, there's, I mean, there's a bunch of shouting and, and yelling and you know, combat noises, which I should actually yeah. have turned on. And so. then, um, fuck, man. So. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's, you know, it wakes you up in the middle of the night. There's a big combat, but, yeah. uh, um, you know, nothing too crazy happens. Um, they will... Um, once everything is cleared out, though, they are going to go out there and um, push all the bodies into a pile um, once the sun starts to come up, and they are going to burn all the bodies. Okay. So. Um, uh, yeah. So, yeah. So, not uh, the end of the world. If you but, think that we're capable of you know, putting them down pretty easily, just like I, Sacred Flame, I, yeah, I don't think I don't think it's an issue. Like with with they you can't guys, really get and... through the barricade or anything. So yeah, exactly. Cool. Worst case scenario, we make big boy bear. Not, we make nine thousand six hundred pound bear boy. Yeah, just go out there and just stomp on. Them. <laughs> I mean, I got no problem with that, but it's just the matter that we're almost done with the session. Otherwise, yeah. I totally yeah. wouldn't have let Logan fuck me on that experience. I would totally have been like, NOPE, I GO OUT THERE! I yeah, fight them! The thing is, like, yeah, yeah. Go out there, one by one, kill every single one of them. Yep. I tell all the guards to go back to sleep, we don't need them. Yep. <laughs> yeah, so... But, uh, yeah, I don't think, I don't, I mean, it was, I think it's pretty negligible. So, but, uh, there's also... It's like an hour things. of me sacred flaming walking yeah. corpses. Here's a little yeah, more yeah. fire! And some more fire! <laughs> yeah. Holy fire! Yeah. So, um, but, uh, with that, I mean, you managed to impress, um, with commander our flaming and arrows captains. and our yeah. holy fire and all yeah. the other, I don't know, flaming Sister, sphere, maybe. Yeah. I have a flaming Sister sphere. Sias spell. is very, um, she's very impressed by your holy fire spells. Neat. Um, yeah, she, she thinks that's amazing and, and really appreciates you, um, Using priestly abilities such as that, indeed, on the offensive as well. So, she she's impressed by your ability to be a jack of all trades in yes. a way, 
or a priest of all disciplines. I don't know. I tell her, so. you got a friend in me. Right? You offer to show her the real holy fire later. Yeah. No. No. Ah. Uh, so, maybe, maybe, um, maybe some other day I'll, I'll force Lucian to make like a willpower check or something, but he's a holy man. <laughs> she's a holy woman, don't worry about it. Yeah. She's no interest. You say uh, that, yeah. but we'll have to see. <laughs> Lucian doesn't have very good charisma, I think she's fine. What? <laughs> I'm very charismatic. Are you? I, I, I no, you I have ten charisma, but, no, you know. <laughs> Sometimes role play is more important than stats. True, true. Okay. Uh, yeah. So you guys wake up on the uh, fifth day. Yeah. Or sixth, sixth day. day. Really. And uh, uh, yeah, you assess uh, whether or not you need to head out today. Well, what Tell do me we how think? You come to such a decision. It's you based on up? how things are going. Do we I feel mean, like they're doing they're a lot better? better. Um, there were no casualties right. uh, in last night's attack. Mm -hmm. uh, you woke up today, there's not really anybody um, in the sick house, whatever you want to call it. Okay. So. Uh, well, I guess I approach the sister and her cleric friends and say, well... I think it's about time we head out. I hope that we've uh, done small, some small part to alleviate your struggle for time. Yes, we uh, most definitely appreciated your stay here. It will your your assistance will be obvious for quite some time. It's good to have friends on the front line. I promise that we shall return with more help. Yeah. We hope to see you again. Yeah. And then uh, we probably have a similar conversation with uh, Horde Firebeard, right? We're heading out. Mm -hmm. um, we'll break right, your shit. Um, my companion mentioned that you were hoping to get a few extra boats. Do you yes. believe the river to be safe enough to escort said boats to you? Uh, yes, the river should be the river should be safe for travel. Um, it's not necessarily easy to get. Yeah, we'll see. It's not necessarily easy to get uh, boats up and down the river, though, uh, with the number of waterfalls every couple of miles. But uh, you know, well, I... as well, you may have to take it out and drag it up a hill. Ah. I assume this can be done. Otherwise, uh, there is little point in even mentioning that you need yes. boats. It is still a much more efficient uh, way of traveling up and down the river with lots of supplies and marching everything on backpack I'm sure you understand yes oh yes we've been out here for over a hundred days so mm. we do understand yes. Um, so yes all right we'll uh, we'll head on out to the port and hopefully return back with more help for you it's been Good. a pleasure to work with you mr. firebeard so we, uh, I, I can't thank you enough for your help. Uh, the morale seems to be on the up and up now here. Yeah. Hopefully my men are more motivated and more energetic after a couple of good days of rest. Mm -hmm. Well, Dr. Plinkett and my roguish companion, Dordry, mm -hmm. and, oh god... Robo husband, shall we head out? Absolutely. I need to punch more things. Uh, Jay, you're muted. Uh, 
he's gonna ask at one point, are we going to be taking the four remaining boats up the river, or are we gonna be going by foot? Uh, they aren't lending you the boats. Just the people? Unless, well, unless it, unless you ask, if you want to ask. Uh, we'll ask, uh, would it be okay if we take some of the four boats up the river? It might make the hard ship a little bit faster. Um, well, we could use, I mean, we need the boats for, um, if we have to make a swift getaway or anything like that from being overwhelmed, but, uh, we could spare a boat, I suppose, one rowboat. Mm. Uh, one ro how many, uh, people can a rowboat hold, exactly? Six. Six? So oh we'd god, like... not comfortably. <laughs> like, yeah. we have to sleep I mean, on this shit, rooms. right? Like, assuming you want to stay on there no, we all could, the time. We could park the boat and just sleep at night on the bank. In fact, at some point we're gonna have to, like, take the bank, uh, uh... Take the thing off. When we encounter a waterfall. Uh, Dr. Blinkett, I would hate to remove these valuable supplies from these men here. We've been fine. I think we can make it on foot. Alright. I do insist that we take the four guards, though. Just extra precaution. Okay. Yeah, I mean, they'll offer you up the four guards. Yeah, so six medium creatures. Sure. We're gonna hoof it. We'll be fine. I mean, we've been out here a hundred days. Okay. Yeah. Plus, I want that fucking experience, bitch. I'm gonna kill a bunch of things out in that forest. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> so you're, you're, not gonna, huh? you're not gonna take the four guards either. Oh, uh, he wants no, to. No, we're gonna take so. the four guards. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, I switched back my cantrips to the bag of holding and the uh, thing for Kadorji's bow. Okay. And um. Yeah, so the plan, I guess, if you want to flip us back to the map layer, mm -hmm. is hopefully next session we can get to the port. Uh, I know how that yeah. goes, but yeah, that is kind hopefully. of my hope. I think we could probably TLDR for the most part. Yeah. Um, yeah. Pass travel. But with combat. Yeah. Uh, yeah, actually, I guess I didn't realize what time it was. I guess now is probably a good time to yeah, call it. Yeah, unless you, so. yeah, unless you want to do a little bit of travel, but, uh, I think it's probably a good place. Yeah. Stop. Can we take a shower and be there at 7? Yeah. Um. I gotta look all nice and spruced up, drive my drunk friends around. <laughs> Oof. Uh... Monster experience, RP yeah. experience, the so, saviors of Camp Righteousness. Uh, so, let's see here, experience wise, uh, let me add these up, so you got, uh, you killed five boars, which are, like, insanely good experience, apparently. Um, so. uh, and we're splitting Trillion. it three ways, not four. Because Corwin doesn't show up, he's not getting experience. That's the way it goes. So those were 2250, and then 800 for the man traps, and then uh, I'm going to give you oh god, 2000 for the uh, for all your help that you guys did. Because I mean, I, I think you guys really helped out Camp Vengeance a lot. I mean, they're destitute mm -hmm. and miserable. Yeah, it's a good little quest. So, yeah. So 2250 plus 800 plus 2000. Yeah, so. Fuck. Uh, yeah, so 5000 divided three ways. God damn. Uh, yeah, 1683 each. Holy crap. That's like. Damn. Almost a level? No. no. No, no, yeah, I guess. No. No. But 
turns out pretty good experience when you don't have uh, Scully around. And when you have all cap practice, you go out your way to RP and then. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I like I, I actually didn't expect you guys to. <laughs> I expect you guys to be like, wow, this is a rundown shit. Oh, fuck this place. Yeah. Uh, good characters. That's the benefit. Yeah, man, I'm but neutral yeah. good. I, I, I don't leave people like that stranded. Yeah. I'm like a fucking Gandalf character, you know? Yeah. Good guy Gandalf. Uh, so, level 5. Didn't you, you get to level 5? I did. Uh, yeah, I did. Nice. I was already at level 5. But yeah, level 6 is gonna be a slog. Yeah. So. Well, you guys didn't get lost today. Does. So nobody leveled up? Oh, hell no. It's 14,000 to level 6. No. Yeah. I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah, three on my proficiency bonus now. Oh, five, nice. five to six is nasty, dude. It literally doubles yeah. the amount of current experience you have from sixty-five hundred to fourteen thousand. And I get, yeah. I get, oh, and I get an extra D six in my sneak attack. And uncanny dodge. Uncanny dodge. Huh? It's uncanny. Mm-hmm. When an attacker that you see hits you with an attack, you can use your reaction to have the attack damage against you. That's pretty freaking good. Um. Yeah. If you got time, you can quick roll up HP or something. Uh -oh. Yeah. Before you forget. Yeah, I'm just gonna quickly add all the things I got. Oh yeah, I forgot to ask about this, but like Plunk has been using his like stone inscription thing to like imitate the smell of the incense. So I was gonna ask, does that like have the same function? Is like actually burning it? Yeah, I don't see why not. Sweet. Yeah. Not something that he can, like, profit off of, though. It's just like a group isn't getting, like, swarmed by mosquitoes, I think. Or just slightly yeah. less harmed. Still, it's something like it would do. That's really good. <laughs> That's gonna save your life when you start taking, like, 20 damage on a hit or whatever. Like I was my earlier. Constitution modifier. Isn't my constitution modifier just one? I don't know. What's your con? Thirteen. Probably one. Yep. Yeah. When you have to add ability score or ability points or whatever to. Like. It's in the player's handbook. It depends on your yeah. level. And depends it depends on, on the class, class too. too. Yep. Like I think warriors get like a ton of ability score improvements. They do. Why? What are you? What are you worried about Dex mod for? Uh, no, I, uh, my con mod because it's my HP modifier. Oh. So one D eight. Let's hope I get. Finally, that's probably gonna be bad. One, five, I knew it. Oh, <laughs> that's gonna be bad. Two. Oh, I was like, ah, should I go with just base five plus one, or should I take a chance? And of course, I roll a one. Uh, we, you're not a tank, it's fine. You shoot yeah. from a distance. Yeah, yeah. Just true. keep hiding behind trees. But yeah, I have one. Hide, shoot, hide, shoot, hide, shoot. I level 5, it's so bad. Oh. What? I'm only level 5 and I'm only 20 on hit, hit points. Yep, it's pretty low. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Alright, well, we should establish that you get arrows from the camp for you to take with you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how many? How many arrows do they fletch for them? Like, oh, we got a bunch I mean, of wood for them. They probably were able to make some arrows for them too, if you really needed. Uh, they'd be willing to give you twenty. Yeah. They don't have a ton to spare, but they don't have 
a bunch That's of feathers funny. just sitting around. Yeah, exactly. Like I'm, I'm still doing the repeating shots, so the only time he'll need to use an arrow is like if he has to use the poison. Mm. So I guess we should. That's if we can't use the poison with the repeating shot arrows. Because, like, I think he's still notching an arrow. It's just a matter of, like... I don't know. Because it doesn't disappear until, like, after it hits the target. Yeah. I don't know. But if you want, we could establish that, like, you can't dose an arrow with poison if he's, uh... If it's used for a speeding shot. But it doesn't actually specify if it's, like, a spectral arrow or something like that. It is magical. Yeah... I, I don't think you can those magical arrows. Um, I don't think you can do that. Okay, it's still useful to have them. Then. Like if they are physical magical arrows, but I think these are. I don't know. They're not. They're like conjured, right? And then. Yeah, they're conjured. But yeah, I'm gonna say no. Did so anybody complete get... a goal this session? I did not. Uh no. Alrighty. My short-term goal is in the port, so we need to get there. I'm gonna be like, same. <laughs> I'm gonna be at four sessions pretty soon. Um, yeah. And then, uh, anybody need inspiration? I already have it. I believe. I have it. Yeah, I already have inspiration. I think it just gets wasted this week. Yeah. I haven't really needed to use mine. Like, I've been totally fine in combat, not even close to dying, and I like to hold it, just in case. Yeah. I think it's just hiding in combat right now. Yeah, you know, like, completely useless. I mean, he's useful. It's just, like, just not attacking things. He's entirely, like, a support class now. That's fine. That's, 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 that's kind of what you are, though. It's just, I mean, that's... Yeah, that's what it is. Know. So, all right. I think that's the session. Mm -hmm. Thanks for playing, guys. Uh, hopefully, next week we can have Corwin back. Uh, sucks. Next week, next week I do have to work, but I'm gonna try to make it so I can leave at like two o'clock. So it might be like two thirty or something. Sure. Sure. But uh, all right. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna try. Well, let's uh do our best to play i mean you know mm -hmm. we, we miss weeks and what can we do but yeah mm -hmm. uh, it's life all right so all righty see you guys Thanks next week for playing bye-bye bye, -bye. bye. Okay. see ya bye